Hello. So in previous videos, we have been looking at signals whose frequency does not change, meaning it is constant. Now, there are applications such as in frequency modulation or certainly real-time signal, real signals where the frequency content changes. Let's look at here as an, a, an example of those signals. So for part eight of this problem, we are asked to write a mathematical expression for a signal whose frequency is constant. Well, first of all, x of t real of e to the j theta t frequency is actually defined as the derivative of the angle. So here we do have the angle. Actually, let's put an amplitude also. So this is the real operator, amplitude. And so my angle, this is my angle, can be a function of time, can be any function of time. The derivative of the angle is the instantaneous frequency in radians per second, that's the derivative of the angle. Or in hertz, is 1 over 2 pi, the derivative of the angle. So we can see that the signals that we have used with a constant frequency, when we use something like the real of a to a times e to the j two pi f uh, zero. We want to call it particular frequency there f zero t plus a phase, which this is equal to just a times cosine of two pi f zero t plus a phase. Why the frequency is F0? Well, you can pick the angle, which is this. This is my angle. And you can do the derivative of the angle, right? And so Fi is equal to 1 over 2 pi. Derivative of the angle with respect to time. And we have that we are going to do the derivative of 2 pi F0t plus a phase with respect to time. And this is clearly... We have a one half missing here. One half to pi. And this is one half to pi times the derivative two pi f zero. This cancels, and so it gives me that yes, indeed the frequency is what we have been calling the frequency. Try that. But that's a consequence of the instantaneous frequency being the derivative of the angle. Okay, so really you could have signals whose frequency changes. For instance, that it changes linearly with time, like in the case of a chip signal, or with respect to any other signal, any other function of a change. So here, x of t, if we wanted to do a a cosine of theta t, we can do theta if we have a quadratic equation there, like 2 pi mu t square plus 2 pi f0 t plus theta. So the equation that we are talking about Imagine that we have a signal like this, cosine of 2 pi mu t square plus 2 pi f0 t plus theta. If we do the derivative, we want to find the radian, instantaneous radian frequency in radians per second. We just differentiate it. And so we have 4 pi mu t plus 2 pi f0 
right there. Or the instantaneous frequency 1 over 2 pi derivative of the angle gives us 2 pi sorry, uh, the pi goes away so 2 mu t plus f0 so this is a chirp signal, this is a signal whose frequency just keeps increasing, right? so we have something like this slow and as this is time goes increasing linearly with time now this is going to be important for instance in frequency modulation we mentioned that you can have a amplitude modulation meaning you want to transmit a signal of low frequency band limited through radio frequency communications you need to adapt it to the channel and so in order to radiate it what you can do is have a carrier of a higher frequency and then change the property of the carrier so what are the properties that you can change well you can change the amplitude and do amplitude modulation you can also change the frequency so you have a carrier frequency and deviate it a little bit in proportion to your information signal that's frequency modulation or you can do also phase modulation. So those are the three properties that you have in a signal on your carrier that you could change, meaning you could change the amplitude, the frequency, or the phase. And so all analog communications is that amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, or phase modulation. Now in frequency modulation, it uses this principle of the fact that the instantaneous frequency is the derivative of the angle. And so you can change the frequency deviated over a particular certain frequency of your carrier. Thank you.